What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to recap some of the Starfield info that we had today. It was a huge day, right? We knew the Q&A on Discord was about to happen, and I don't know if we thought it was going to be this detailed. So we got so many kind of new features, things that you're going to be able to do in Starfield. Uh, we'll thank the people that I'm going to be reading from kind of as we go, but the bigger news that's kind of separate from that is that the game has gone gold. That was another big reveal of today. Game's gone gold, and and the preload dates are starting very, very quickly. They start tomorrow, the 17th, on the Xbox platforms and the Xbox app for Windows PC. And then the Steam version, you'll be able to preload it on Wednesday, August 30th. Obviously, we know September 1st, right, for the early access if you get the deluxe edition. And then September 6th for if you just want to wait till Game Pass or whatever you want to do. We know the download size, it's around 125 gigabytes. This thing is enormous. Um, so clear the space that that you need get an internal hard drive you know whatever you need to do figure it out very very soon so we got that a side thing also i guess another side thing is we got the adam savage building a real starfield spaceship i think a lot of us probably know him back from the mythbusters days i actually kind of go on his channel uh, every now and then just to kind of see what amazing things you know just the the lingo he uses you know i have no idea what he's saying but a lot of the stuff that he builds is really really cool and then they dropped that that they have a partnership with him and it'll be, I believe, several parts. Um, but the first part of it, or first episode, 56 minutes long, uh, watching him build a real-life Starfield spaceship. So that's super cool. And then we get to the actual answers on the Discord. So what I want to do is I want to thank the Starfield countdown. I've seen this actually account uh, several times on Twitter. Really, really good account. And they, uh, you know, kind of bullet-marked everything. We're just going to read through them, and we'll kind of go over my opinions of it towards the end. There is player housing and city summer awards for different quests, but others have to be purchased. There's at least one in each of the main cities. With the kids stuff trait, your parents will be based on what your character looks like. You can choose an anonymous background and no traits if none of the options interest you. Certain items are considered contraband, and special ship modules will help you smuggle them past security and orbit of major settlements. There's a jail system. You can elect to go to jail, pay a fine, or try to escape when arrested. There's times when the themes of crime and punishment are explored in the game. You can infiltrate the Crimson Fleet for UC system death as part of a quest. Uh, existing real-life religions are a part of the Starfield universe, but the focus is mainly on three new groups. The Sanctum Universum believes that God physically exists within the universe, and grab jumping and the ability to travel the stars is God's way of saying, come find me. The Enlightened are organized atheists. They don't believe in higher power, rather that humans have to take care of one another. And the House Varun believed that the Great Serpent will encircle the universe and devour every non-believer there's over 20 named characters who can join your crew four from constellation and they're the main focus when assigning a crew member to an outpost there's a one-time payment you don't have to pay a regular salary companion skills do not level up they stack with the player skills when relevant there's lots of buttons in starfield the mechs we saw in the animated short are left over from the colony war both sides have them but the free star collective mastered them with the uc being more reliant on controlled alien beasts they kept there's an old mech battleground in the game. So that is a, a ton, and it makes me excited. You know, the jail system, I think, obviously, is jumping out to a lot of people. Not too far removed from what we've experienced in past Bethesda games, but the idea of walking yourself into jail, you know, paying the fine. The 20 companions, I see, is also kind of a... Those are probably the two main things, the jail system, and then, I guess, the 20 companions, um, which are very, very detailed, right? And they I've seen in different um, articles or interviews or whatever, that's a really big focus. The companions are a huge, huge focus in Starfield and it seems like they're definitely going all out. And then maybe even the contraband stuff. I see a lot of people really excited. We knew, I think it was through like analysis, we knew you could do that back with the um, Xbox Showcase when they did the whole breakdown of Starfield, right? There were some things that indicated, yeah, you're going to be able to, whether you're smuggling people, whether you're smuggling, you know, items, you will be able to do that. And uh, that's very exciting, I think, just in general, and then to get a little bit more information on it. So, Games coming quick, games coming soon. We now know a ton of stuff about the game. So uh, this is what I remember I said a few weeks ago. You know, there was not a lot of talk about Starfield. 
from Bethesda. I think the fans kept it alive for a very long time, right? They did their thing. They went away. Fans kept it alive the past couple months. But I had said that August was going to be that time where it's just info after info, preview event, all this stuff. And I'm, I think I'm pretty right. You know what I mean? We got all this stuff. The review codes are going out later this week. Uh, this is the time that Starfield stuff is going to be coming out very quickly. However, soon it'll probably be spoilers. So just be careful online because with the review codes out, you imagine people will leak certain things. So if you want to be safe, I'd say probably today, tomorrow, maybe the next day. Uh, th these are the last days, I think, of safety uh, on the internet when it comes to specifically Starfield. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed, bell icon turned on. Check out my other YouTube channels, my Twitter, my Discord, all in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next one.